AMS Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And today, I think it's time for us to take a grand adventure. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, we're right out here at the marquee for the MGM Grand at the front entrance. Here we are, ready to go ahead and check out the largest single hotel in America, in the third largest hotel complex in the entire world. Here we go. All right, and here we are, Spinners and Sharks, inside the historic MGM Grand. First built in 1993, although technically there was an MGM Grand Hotel up the strip where Bally's is right now after it was sold. It was moved down here and rebranded with an extensive Wizard of Oz theme. Now that's definitely gone along with the theme park, and that's been replaced with Signature at MGM Grand as well as the MGM Grand Pool Complex, which we've already done a tour of, and I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description box below as well as the info card above. All right, here's the lobby area. This is where you check in and then you start your experience with one of over 6,600 hotel rooms and suites in the entire complex. And now we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the gaming floor. All right, entering the casino now, guys. The largest casino in all of Clark County at 171,000 square feet of just pure gaming space. And it's bumping right now. This is actually pretty surprising. This is a Thursday afternoon. The afternoon and evening seems to be really popular right now. Oh, and is that who I think it is? Is that TVP? What's up, what's up? How you doing, bro? Yeah. We're, we're not, yeah, I am filming. This is for the vlog, man. Where are you heading to? Hey, man, I'm about to go do some room tours, actually. I'm about to head over to Luxor and I'm going to go to New York, New York. Okay. Hey, I'm going to catch you later. Good deal. We're, we're catch up later oh, yeah, we're definitely going to catch up later. Where, uh, where can we see those room tours, though, sir? Oh, make sure y'all go to uh, search The Vegas Paradise on YouTube, youtube.com slash The Vegas Paradise. The Vegas Paradise, and that's going to be in the description box below. Thanks again, Tim. Good to see you, brother. <laughs> well, that was a nice surprise, right, Spinners and Sharks? Always good to see our friends. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can find the pop ball. Oh. Okay, so here we are. Now, the MGM Grand is kind of split up a little funny. So, when we come in through the lobby, we're about here. So, the lobby comes in from here. We go by the checkout kiosks and leave here. So, there are two options. You can go this way for the west part of the hotel and you can go this way for the east part of the hotel. We're gonna go ahead and take the left over here where we are uh, towards David Copperfield and we're gonna check out the west part of the hotel where the buffet is and then we're gonna kind of swing back through Ka by Cirque du Soleil and then we're gonna check out the arena and the pool, pool complexes at the end. So yeah, let's head on out. All right, and here's my favorite bar in MGM Grand, the Whiskey Down and the rest of the casino. Wow. I always forget how large this place is. It's rather grandiose. <sighs> Got a fever of 103. All right, normally there's an M-Life desk over here, I think. Yeah, there's the theater bar. And then there's the David Copperfield Theater. So this one's from my boy, Captain Dev Pool. No, Jeff Dev Pool. Happy Canada Day to you, Dev. I know it's really late, because it was the day before yesterday. It's already like July 3rd. 
So that's pretty cool. And then we also have the M Life desk over here too. Hot bloody. And here's more of the casino. It's pretty open right now. Not a lot of people table gaming, which is cool. The cashier's cage over here, also pretty quiet. But yeah, this place is huge. 171,000 square feet. It's gonna take us a while to walk with spinners and sharks. Oh, I really wish I had my uh, pocket, my front pocket. More casino this way. Uh, we have every other machine turned off right now, just for social distancing, if you guys are wondering about the players or lack thereof, especially here in the poker room. So this is the poker room. It's located adjacent to the sports bar. And there's also some video poker nearby too. Sports betting over here. And the MGM Grand Buffet. But we are not in the casino area anymore. So we can check this out. So here's the tap sports bar I was telling you guys about earlier. And we're gonna actually enter one of my favorite parts of the hotel and casino. It's gonna be the uh, centrifuge. So now this is HQ's favorite bar. <laughs> Cause just, we spent a long time uh, dancing over here. Last time we came out here to, I think it was not Hakkasan, we didn't go to Hakkasan, because that's the club. But we went to, uh, yeah, we went to Cent Centrifuge because we were visiting MGM Grant's signature. Also a couple exits over here, in case of emergency. But then we have Hakkasan. And then there's the pristine Centrifuge that is closed right now due to, well, the you-know-what, the social distancing protocol. All right, and here's my next favorite part of the hotel and casino. So guys, this is level up. Well, not this part over here, but this part, level up. So it's a bar arcade sort of thing there, so you get your... Uh, Arcade games, the disco golf, extreme golf, all that good stuff. Some virtual bowling and all too. That's pretty cool. And then this is where my boy DJ Scooby does his uh, karaoke nights on Sundays and Mondays. Although I think they have those canceled at least temporarily until social distancing is over. So there's that to check out there. Uh, it's really hard to narrate in a mask. And now we are heading backwards because again, the way this uh, hotel is designed, there are two very distinct parts to it. Here we go, and these are the show tickets. This is where you pick up uh, tickets to go see things like uh, the Blue Man Group if they were in, or the Dabble Walkies more accurately. Now, unfortunately, with Cirque going bankrupt, I'm not sure how many shows are gonna be there. And... Sorry about that, guys, my phone went off. All right, hang tight for just a second. What a shame, what a shame. MGM Grand Buffet, Dark on the Rock, Oh, and there's the Jabberwockies gift shop here. Unfortunately, also dark right now. All the performances have unfortunately been canceled, just until further notice, also due to COVID.
Still surprising amount of smokers around. All right, and then her Starbucks coffee and Avenue Cafe. Both of these, I believe, are uh, closed right now. It might just be special time, special occasions. All right. And we are out of the casino now, so we can check out Greek Sneak. Okay, and on this side of the hotel is the Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. So I've eaten here a few times, and I've actually even posted a couple videos about it on the channel. Link those in the description box as well. And then in the info card, if you guys are interested in Cirque du Soleil still, you know, barring their complete destruction via bankruptcy, there is the Ka Arena. So Ka is a Cirque show. It's a little kind of Avatar The Last Airbendery, only without the magic and just a little bit of wushu martial arts, uh, you know, just kind of choreography there, which is pretty interesting. Also, that kind of leaves this whole area very, very open here. Usually there's a big Ka display and they do some pre-show entertainment here. But right now it's actually really, really open. But let's get back on the footpath where we belong for not playing in the casino even though we are all 21 and up on this channel. If we are not 21 up on this channel, I recommend you abandon channel. This is not a, not a child from the channel. Okay. And we are through one, all 171,000 feet of casino space. And now we're over to the district. This is the restaurant district. So if you guys are interested in any shopping or food, this is the place. For example, we have the Most Wanted Bar. Loser's Most Wanted Bar. And on the other side, it is Rocks, the jewelry store. So if you guys are all interested, it starts over this way. All right. And then also Amber over here. This is usually a really kind of fancy, well-lit up restaurant, but yeah, because of the social distancing protocols, it is closed, as is Morimoto, which is a Japanese-American inspired restaurant that is also closed due to social distancing inspiration. It's a little tough to tell which ones are closed and which ones are open right now. Misura is obviously open but Tom Calicho Crab Steak is currently kind of closed right now. And it's a little odd to have it right next to Emeralds because Emeralds is also open, but it's not gonna open until 5.30 because it's a dinner only restaurant. Okay, how's it going? Food court over here. So if you guys want some fast food, Actually, let's go ahead and skip through the food court real quick. It's actually one of the few places you can comfortably eat right now. So we've got pizza. Um, let's see, we got pizza, Johnny Rockets, Nathan's, Pan Asian Express. An original chicken tender with tacos and Ritos. And yep, that's about it. Though I think uh, tacos and margaritas is closed. And then we have this little bakery over here. I think there's a beauty shop right around the corner too. So there's a bakery shop and there's a beauty shop right there. Right next to the Pandora and the ice bar. Okay, and then from there, there's International Smoke, and we're back on the main path. Okay, a couple more shops here. There's the Hollywood shop on this side, and then 
There is the casino convenience store, the Grand Express, that is presently closed. And then there's Echo in Las Vegas, made in Las Vegas. Next to the monorail station, which is at the end of the casino, just FYI. There's also the Blizz Bar. So you get your frozen yogurt here, and then there's also a daiquiri bar over here for frozen daiquiris, because there aren't enough of those in this giant casino. And then here's Studio B, with Studio A, and then the MGM Grand Arena, which doesn't really have any, uh, there's just not much going on in the MGM or Grand Arena right now, I'm afraid. Just because there aren't any shows really going on. So you have the Garden Arena here. And this is what takes you down to the concourse. God, this place is huge. But yeah, that's how you get down to the studios. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the last portion of the tour. Loving the social distance markers that they have here. Okay, now back to the actual path here. We have the Hunger Games exhibition and the Quicksilver store right above us. The other Garden Grand Arena ticket booth is closed, as is Television City. So Television City, for those of you guys that don't know, that includes networks like CBS, CW, Nickelodeon, ET, Showtime, The CW, MTV, I might have said CW twice, and places like that where they show off these uh, different pilot shows. So if you guys are interested in that, seeing these pilot shows, They'll actually usually invite you out to a screening, like a two-for-one screening or something like that for free, and then they'll try and get your opinion. And sometimes they'll give you some free stuff. Alright guys, and this brings us to the end of the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. And here's the entrance to Signature at MGM Grand. Now we stayed over there before, I'll go ahead and link a card to that in the uh, upper right hand corner of the screen along with the grand spa and salon that's also next to the signature never used that before but that is here and then if we go down the set of stairs and this escalator over here that is going to lead us to the beautiful mgm grand pool area which is a pretty sizable pool actually Very popular, well done pool complex, and it's got a lazy river to die for. Okay guys, but that just about does it with the tour for MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. Uh, I've also got some room tours of the place too for here as well as the signature if you guys want to check it out to see if it's a place you'd be interested in staying. And hopefully this has helped you make some informed decisions on your vacation. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, I think we're going to go ahead and take ourselves all the way through our last trip, get ready for the July 4th trip report on this upcoming Tuesday. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva.